Hi, my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to talk about my top 10 favorite minimalist items. All right, let's get started. My first product is my Balmuna tea kettle. I have talked about this tea kettle before. It is the best tea kettle I have ever had. It heats the water in seconds and gets really hot. If you drink a lot of tea or pour over coffee, I can't recommend this tea kettle enough. It also makes really good oatmeal that my kids absolutely love. The only downside is that it's a bit pricey. It's an investment that will last you a long time. We have had ours for over a year and it still works like it's brand new. The next item is my Ninja High Power Blender. I have had mine for over two years. It's a really good high power blender that's definitely a lot more affordable than other blenders like it. It's also really good quality. Mine has lasted a long time and I use it almost every day to make my smoothies. So if you've always wanted to get a high power blender to make smoothies and other types of drinks, I definitely recommend this one. Next is my Berkey water filter. This is definitely the most useful minimalist product I have had. Again, it's a bit of an investment, but you end up saving money because you're not spending it on bottled water. I absolutely love this water filter. It works so well. We drink so much water that we have to fill it several times a day. I like that it's eco-friendly. We either use glasses or reusable bottles. The water also tastes really good. We went for a day trip one day and ended up having to get bottled water. When I tasted it, I could not believe how bad it tasted compared to the Berkey water. The next item is my iPad Pro. While it will never be considered a necessity, it definitely makes my life so much easier. Because it has so many functions, I was able to declutter a large amount of my possessions. I mainly use it for drawing, watching Netflix, studying Japanese, and tracking our finances. I could actually edit my YouTube videos on here too if I wanted. My husband has the keyboard with his, so he also uses it as a laptop. And when you set it up, it kind of looks like a mini iMac. My Kindle is another really useful minimal device. Because of it, I was able to declutter 95% of my books. Over time, I have built a Kindle library and now can carry all of my favorite books wherever I go. I also really like the built-in light, so I can read at night in a darker lit room right before going to bed easily. I also like that I can just download a new book and get it in seconds. You can also hook up with your local library and check books out directly onto your Kindle and you don't even have to go into the library to get them. There are also many different types of Kindles that range from really affordable to more expensive. So pretty much anyone can own one of these now. The next item is my Hobonichi Weeks. I have tried digital planning on my iPad and I just didn't like it as much as having a physical planner. I didn't want to carry my iPad everywhere I went. I liked being able to take this with me to my appointments or anywhere that I needed to. I like that this planner is small, but I can take it anywhere with me. I also like that it has the weeks on one side of the page and then the other page is just a complete blank grid page. So I can draw, I can put grocery lists, I can put appointment details or reminders or addresses, basically anything I need to. It also has a note section in the back and I use that note section to write my scripts for my videos. These planners come out every year, the beginning of September on the Hobonichi website. Their shipping is pretty expensive but it only takes three days to get here from Japan. The only problem I have with these planners is that I love all of them and I kind of have a weakness when it comes to them, so it's really hard for me not to buy like 30 of them at once. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what type of planner you use as a minimalist. Mm -hmm. 
Number seven is my Japanese futons. I made a whole video about it. It's my second video, so you can check it out if you're interested. The main reason we like them is because they are so easy to move around and fold up. They create so much more space in our rooms and they're actually quite comfortable. The next item is my cork yoga mat. I really like this yoga mat because it's very cushiony and works well with hard surfaces. It has a lot of support for my ankles and wrists. It's also eco-friendly, folds up easily, and stays clean really well. The one that I have is also really affordable and comes with straps so you can carry it with you wherever you go. Item number nine is my mala beads. I have talked about them before in other videos. The ones that I have are made out of green jade, which symbolizes harmony, love, romance, emotional stability, and inner peace. They are great for meditation because they invite a calming energy and a healing energy. They are very calming and make me feel better when I have had a stressful day. The last item I want to talk about is my Zero Sandals. I have had these pair for two years and the tread on the bottom still looks brand new. They are considered a barefoot minimalist shoe and once you break them in, they are very comfortable. They are great for traveling because they fold up really easily. The other thing I like about them is that they match with all my clothes. I can wear them with dresses, skirts, shorts, and pants. I can also walk longer distances in them and they are very waterproof, so I always wear them in the rain. Well, that's all I have for today. Let me know what your favorite minimalist items are. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.